Good morning, this is Tiffany from Tiffany's Beauty Trends, and today I'm going to work with Cagelings Araness. And um, I'm not really sure, this looks like it's a limited edition, possibly um, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, I'm not sure. It doesn't say on here, but the back is where all the writing is. So, I'm not sure. It comes in a beautiful case with a little ribbon to lift it up. And these are the colors you'll be seeing. Okay, so I am going to start with Nightingale. They're all bird names, of course. And since I have a hooded eye, which if you need a better explanation, look at one of Angela Bright's videos. She has one she just didn't, or maybe did a year or two ago, I'm not sure. But it's on the basics of a hooded eye. That means you have very little space from here to your crease. And a lot of space up here. So what you do instead to start out your eye is you go underneath the brow bone to start your eye. And right now, I'm a beginner, so I have not perfected this by any means. All I know is I made a wide swath across my eyelid that I did not mean to make. It's supposed to be more like a normal line that you'd see. But I'm going to copy it nevertheless because I did it so far down and across. I mean, it's just unreal. <laughs> okay, the next color I'm going to bring in will be Spoonbill. That looks like a good color. And I'm going to grab a little brush here. And this is a clay kind of color. And I haven't tapped off. There's not a lot that taps off when you do that. So that's a good thing. And this has decent coverage. So right now I'm just trying to go just slightly below the brown that I started. And complement that. But when you tap, there's hardly anything there. So that's a beautiful thing. Okay, let me see. Got to get a little bit here and a little bit more back there. Sorry these take me so long. I am really, I mean, into this. This is something I love. But unfortunately, it's something I still struggle with, which is getting things right the first time. Now, is this right? Well, it's going to be right for now. Okay, the next color that I want to bring in is Lynette. And I've never heard of a bird called Lynette. And it is kind of a burgundy brown. Going to see how much this taps off. Again, not very much. And I'm going to bring that in right at my natural crease. And that looks good. Okay, let's see how we do on this side. Of course, I'm getting this on my lid, which I don't mean to do. But as a semi-beginner amateur, I would, I would guess that this sort of thing is fairly common. Okay. What I did just notice is I have the dreaded inner corner going on this side right here. And I'll just do this side so they both look the same. And 
I think I'm going to sweep it downward. Sometimes I go upward, sometimes I go downward. Downward seems easier because then it looks like it goes into your eye. Okay. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do for my lid. So I think I am going to start with Swan, which is a very light color. Actually, no. I'm going to go with Trocolus, which is a shimmery copper. Trocolus. Oh dear. I think off this brush, I, I definitely had fallout. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other eye. And get our trochilus spilled on this side. Okay. And I'm going to try just using a brush, but it may take more than that. Yeah, that actually didn't turn out so swell. I have like a lot of color down in here. And here so what I'll do is I will go across that way so I can get underneath my eyes and I can drag upward which you know is one of my favorite things to do is to have a nice upward turn might have went in a little too far on this side yeah, unfortunately, I think I did. So let me see here. I'm just going to put a little bit there. Okay. A little bit in here. And I need that first initial color that I used looks like that so I'm going to put on not Nottingale right up in here this is actually a full-scale repair that I'm doing and I don't remember what I used for my white I used um, boy I am just all over with brushes and no idea which one I need to use okay this white goes right here. I don't know if you even noticed there was a white up there. Okay, so my problem is my waterline right now. It is coated. Oh my gosh, I picked a chemical side. Okay, well, it's pretty much on both sides, so I hope that doesn't harm my eye at all because I have very sensitive eyes. Okay, now I'm going to do a cut crease. And let's hope this goes better than some other things I've done today. And I am going to extend it upward and over. So from the middle and over okay so now I'm going to close my eyes and then I'm going to take a tiny brush
And on this side, I'm sensing I put entirely too much. So what I'm going to do is bring this up a lot. And I'm going to straighten that, bring that up, bring it across here. Now, I don't know, I've never seen anybody do anything quite like I'm doing, but I need to increase the height. without ruining everything is basically my goal and I want it to be all the way to the edge too so let me see if this brings it together okay yeah it still looks very very thick right here but it has dried down yeah look at that well, I guess it might just depend on who does it and what day. Because this really doesn't look that bad. Okay, so for my color, I am going to press on Swan. Oh my gosh, it is so easily pressed that I just made a huge dent in it. Which I really didn't mean to do. I'm just trying to follow the outline. And then go to this finger. Okay. And get it all the way from top to bottom all the way to the edge and I'm really liking this okay all right so we have done the Cageling Araness palette I'm going to wipe my hands and now I'm going to use a different mascara. It is one that Jeffree Star says is the best for people who do not wear falsies. So I'm going to take his word on that and use um, Roller Lash by Benefit. Of course, he knows how to masterfully apply it. So that may be one of the factors, but I'm still going to give it a go as if I know what I'm doing. And so everything is going to go as planned, right? Okay, that looks pretty good on that side. Okay, let's get the other side done. Alright, I need a little more TLC right here. It's coming in great in the front, but it's towards the back that I need a little more loving. So let's hope we can get that. Alright, now we're going to try, and I need to dip this in again, I keep forgetting that. We're going to try the lower lashes.
Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm almost afraid to say it. And let's go for this side. Okay, so let me get more over here, more in the middle, and hopefully more on the edge. Okay, I think I need to do one more hit. What I need to try to do is see if there's a lot on my skin or if it's mostly the mascara and actually i hate to say it it looks like it's just the mascara i kind of messed it up a little bit by moving it so i'm gonna take this side and this is my perfect side It is the side that I wish the other side was. So let's just put a little more lash up front or upstairs. And go to the other side, which is dreamy. Okay, I noticed I have a little bit right here, and I have one little dot in the swan color. I'm going to see if I can just power over that. Okay, it looks a lot better. Still there, but um, I'd rather not upset any more of these. Oh my gosh, I wish I hadn't touched it. Okay, so I have to agree with him. These are very good lashes for just being on the lash. And I think this is a very pretty look. Now I do have to finish off really quick with a little bit of fairy dust shimmering swan by pretty vulgar okay down the nose to the nose tip there and at the bottom of my chin okay what i would like to do is find a really nice gold to line the let's see here maybe i can make this do it to line right here a really nice